When I get older, I will be stronger. They'll call me freedom, just like a waving flag. Peace and whole tap family. I am with you today because I am bringing you the two team leaders of the Hebrew versus Pan African debate that's coming up on January 20th uh, at 1 p.m. So today we have the two team members that are going to be speaking on a couple of issues and it's just to give you a little insight on what will happen on January 20th when I will see all of you. All right, so let's get started. Greetings, greetings. Shalom. We are, here, we are here today with uh, Brother Yohanatan and Brother Ramesu. And uh, we're just going to do a brief overview of what's to come on January 20th, 1 p.m. You guys ready? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. What is your perspective of um, colonialism in America as far as the, your opposing counterpart when it comes to this debate? Um, you hold on, you like well, this at first since it is well, Hebrew debate. Well, actually since it is a Hebrew debate, our custom is to let our elders go first. So, if Melissa wouldn't mind. Oh, no question. I mean, that's an African tradition and we're well aware of that. Okay. So I, 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 will take, I will take full advantage of that. And I, I will tell you that the, uh, the perspective that we have on colonialism in America is that it's alive and well. Uh, one of the things that they have done so masterfully is to put us to sleep. They put us to sleep in a way where, you know, a lot of us are in a corporate state of mind, in a matrix, and it's an opportunity for uh, each of us, as well as the crowd of uh, gatherers, to have a, you know, a broader perspective or a broader awareness of, uh, you know, what's actually taking place here in America. I mean, we've been taught not to question things, and uh, as a result, you know, we, we kind of fall into a, you know, into a, a particular a paradigm of just accepting things on face value. First of all, to make it clear, the Hebrew heritage is not a religion, <laughs> okay? Um, of which more later. Now, I think in terms of colonialism in America or in the Western Hemisphere, which was the question, um, I think most of our people now given the information age that we live in, have been educated either formally or existentially in at least the effects of what colonialism is. We may not call it colonialism, but I mean, we've all, you know, throughout our lives have had experience of it. As Hebrews, as Israelites, what we tend to do is focus on the remedy. What is the solution to the current problem? Um, if you look back in the history of our people, let's say people of color, so to speak, um, over the last 60, 70 years, we have tried several solutions, some of which have had partial success, some of which have been complete failures, if we are going to be honest. The, what the Hebrew heritage uh, proposes, and this is an, an ancient remedy, is a holistic system that deals with the effects of this uh, colonialism in every aspect what our system of government should be, uh, why um, it's necessary is to develop a, uh, a patrician culture if, if we are to uh, rebuild black men in the, into the state we used to be. Um, what should be our attitudes toward employment, for example, marriage and divorce. These are the, the, the results of the effects of colonialism. You know, we should police our own communities and how we should do what should be the nature of the police as opposed to uh, the, the police that are affecting us now are primarily concerned about property. Our police should not be concerned about that. I think that when we come, you know, face to face on uh, Jan uh, January 20th, yeah. we we'll begin to to uh, to acknowledge those those differences because yeah. you're my brother. Oh, oh absolutely. You're, you're my brother. Absolutely. So when so so when the colonizers come here and they look at us, yeah. they're not looking at a Hebrew. They're not looking at a Pan Africanist. They're not le looking at a Muslim. They're not looking at the various different uh, I isms and schisms that we say that we are. All right. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> all right. So there you have it, January 20th. I hope to see all of you at the House of Consciousness. We're going to have a great time. Uh, we're going to raise some money, and we're going to have a polite and conservative discourse. So I hope to see you all there. You heard it from the brothers themselves. Everybody's ready. I'm ready. You ready?
lifting as we lose.